hello guys and welcome in today's video where today I'm going to show you how you can add some kind of components uh, which are missing on the newer version of Tecla for example under the version like 2020 so basically these are uh, some kind of components which were originally uh, let's say placed on the version of 2019 Tecla I do think and of course when you go to the newer version uh, it's not possible for you to find them because apparently they have removed it so uh, what you can do is that you can add them uh, manually with the placement of folder where you need to download it or you can insert it into a model so basically I'm going to show you the easiest way which of course is to insert it into a model because if you download this kind of thing you of course need to place it into a specific uh, folder so now if we go to Tecla as I already see I do have the start model from Crete and if I create this kind of project with this kind of template of course I'm going to be fine I, I can find all of this kind of components and other components uh, obviously but now let's just suppose that we have this kind of a black uh, blank template and we are going to be let's say looking after this kind of components which are going to be missing so today I will show you how you can insert them automatically through Tecla warehouse now let's just create the project let's just wait for a bit so now the model is uh, opened and of course when we are going to search for example for the connection of foundation to column uh, we are not going to be able to find it and of course if we go and search it with let's say this kind of connection by its name I do think it's going to be this one we'll go to tap and we search it in here of course we are not going to have it in here because the template which we are working it into a blank and uh, these kind of components are not included, they are included on the template of start mode concrete which already we do not have it. So, for example, uh, let's just create some kind of uh, add folding in here, we have also a column, basically this is going to be the connection which we are willing to make. And now, uh, as I told to you, there are going to be two kind of things, first we are going to it's inserted into a model and the Tecla warehouse automatically it's going to insert it into our model and just download it and place them uh, manually into a specific folder which of course uh, it's some kind of specific to find the folder so we are just going to go with uh, the first method so now as we can already see we have uh, in blue this kind of uh, insert into a model but before clicking on this I just wanted to let you know that how I got in here is that basically you log in into your Tecla warehouse uh, software uh, I do think there is need to do some kind of downloading which of course it's uh, very easy steps and you go and just search for this uh, kind of precast column uh, components and now you are going to find yourself in here and what you are going to do is that you are going to click insert into model and just click once and of course you're not going to see anything happen because it takes some kind of time and in here you are going to see that something is going to show up which of course is going to be the installation from Tecla uh, warehouse software which is going to insert it automatically into our project in here so let's just wait for a bit and as we can already see it's blinking in here so now we have this kind of uh, dialog box in here and if you are going to press resolve conflicts manually and of course after you do that if you go in here and search for the components you are not going to find it but what you should choose is that click automatically override the existing item with the new one and you are going to search in here and it's going to automatically appear so now we just click start installation we just wait for a couple of seconds so it can be installed and inserted into our model and now of course in here we do have the installation location and also the installed items which are going to be uh, these ones in here as we already see this kind of uh, components in here this kind of things and now we go to our model we just click exit and now if we go and search for the component with this name of course we are going to have it in here but also for example let's just take this kind of other thing if we just search it in here of course this one is going to be in here and we have all of these kind of things already in here so this is the way that how you can add let's say automatically components to tech our house so thank you very much guys i really do hope that it was helpful for you for you see you on the next video thank you bye